I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to the MNW Miles Middle School Morning News for April 5th, 2012. Our broadcast is coming to you from the second floor studios of the middle school. If you wish to participate, you can ask your teacher to be involved. HIV peer AIDS educators. There will be a meeting Thursday when we return from break. A special school events. Last Wednesday, we had Steve Berger, Holocaust survivor, come to speak to the 8th grade. He will be returning in late April to speak to the rest of the 8th grade. Our character quote of the week. Love all, trust a few, do wrong to none. William Shakespeare. Today is a red day and have a really great vacation. Hi, I'm Janine Hernandez, and this is America Now and Then, with a message from the New York Police Department. A mock movie poster warns of Al-Qaeda's return to New York City, but authorities say there's no evidence of an actual threat. Investigators learned about the online amateur graphic on Monday. The graphic shows the Manhattan skyline at sunset with Al-Qaeda written in bold type, followed by coming soon again in New York. New York Police Department spokesman Paul Brown says an overseas Arab language internet site posted the graphic on its artwork and design page. He said the New York Police Department has been monitoring the site. FBI spokesman J. Peter Donald says the agency takes all threats seriously and there is no specific or credible threat to New York. Okay, class. Now today we're gonna learn about Christopher Columbus. Nobody cares. What was the year that he sailed the ocean blue? Isaiah. 1492. Excellent. Now, what was the name of his three ships? The Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. Very good. Late again. Yeah, whatever. Get up from my seat. Boy, I don't sense. care. I sit here every day. But I don't I, care about your I test. Really I do not care about test. your test. Just get Please. up. No, I don't care. Get up. devastated over the death of 18-year-old Tyler Clementi. If you don't know, Tyler was a bright student at Rutgers University whose life was senselessly cut short. He was outed as being gay on the internet and he killed himself. Something must be done. This month alone there have been a shocking number of news stories about teens who have been teased and bullied and then committed suicide, like 13-year-old Seth Walsh in Tehachapi, California, 13-year-old Asher Brown in Cypress, Texas, and 15-year-old Billy Lucas in Greensburg, Indiana. This needs to be a wake-up call to everyone that teenage bullying and teasing is an epidemic in this country and the death rate is climbing. One life lost in this senseless way is tragic. Four lives lost is a crisis. And these are just the stories we hear about. 
How many other teens have we lost? How many others are suffering in silence? Being a teenager and figuring out who you are is hard enough without someone attacking you. My heart is breaking for their families, for their friends, and for our society that continues to let this happen. These kids needed us, and we have an obligation to change this. There are messages everywhere that validate this kind of bullying and taunting, and we have to make it stop. We can't let intolerance and ignorance take another kid's life. And I want anyone out there who feels different and alone to know that I know how you feel. And there is help out there, and you can find support in your community. If you need someone to talk to or if you want to get involved, there are some really great organizations listed on our website. Things will get easier, people's minds will change, and you should, you should be alive to see it. Good morning, my name is Benin Hernandez and I'm reporting to you from Vocabulary Corner. The word of the week is quaver. Quaver is a verb and shows action. The definition of quaver is to shake, to tremble, to trill. Synonyms are quiver, vibrate, shiver, quake, and palpitate. A sentence is, as the two students walked hand in hand toward the stage, the boy began to quaver at the thought of having to make an acceptance speech in front of 100 people. National Library Week. National Library Week is observed April 18th through the 24th. First sponsored in 1958, National Library Week is an observance sponsored by the American Library Association and libraries across the country each April. It is a time to celebrate the contributions of our nation's libraries and librarians and to promote libraries and support. All types of libraries, school, public, academic, and special participate in this celebration. Thank you, Ms. Cesaro. Thank you, Ms. Cesaro. Yeah. Keep America Beautiful Month. In April, the nation's largest annual community involvement project, the Great American Cleanup, sponsored by the Keep America Beautiful organization, gathers millions of volunteers together to pick up lit litter, restore playgrounds, plant trees, and participate in community beautifying activities. Businesses, school, neighborhood groups, and local governments offer programs and activities about shared common resources individual responsi responsibilities and preservation. What we do to the planet, we do to ourselves. You can help keep America beautiful. Visit kab.org. I'll never let go. Hey everyone, it's time for some weekend hits. Whether you want to see this movie today or this weekend. This weekend, Titanic 3D premieres. It takes place on the same old Titanic that came out in 1996, but now in 3D and specialized. Next movie to most definitely see is American Reunion. Yes, they're back. Their American Pie group, the original cast, has come back to their high school reunion. Well, that's it, guys. Tune in for next week to see some more weekend hits. See ya! Hi, I'm Mikaela and this is your weather. The weather for next week, mostly sunny, highs in the 60s, chance of showers Tuesday, and have a great vacation.
Hi, I'm Haley. Hi, I'm Janine. And I'm Melissa. And these are the birthday shout outs for this week. If you wish to have a birthday announced in this segment, fill out the sheet on Mr. Wilbur's door and hand it to him by Thursday morning. This is the birthday shout outs for this week Brianna Patty, Jashay Creary, Ariana Sims, Rasheen McNeil Harding, Shakira McNeil Harding, Chanel Rigsby, Christian Guzman, and Darius Holmes. And a special birthday shout out goes to Miss Darby and Miss Kaiser. Happy birthday. Happy birthday! Happy